Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to have a talk about the sound design of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but before I can do that, you're going to have to take a listen to this. Now there's actually a lot going on here and it's amazing. If you guys know me and have kept up with me, you know that I am an audio connoisseur. I love working with audio. I've done several animations, putting audio together, music, all that good stuff. I love to edit and I love to create. Before Friday the 13th came out, Wes dropped a little video of Jason. It had no audio on it, and I added some and put what it would sound like if we heard Jason breathing, and it sounded like this. Good stuff, right? So, jumping into this gameplay clip again, one thing I love is that there's no music overwhelming the tension that can build up in the scene. So if you notice, all you're hearing is nature, you're hearing the chainsaw in the distance. I do like that it seems that the music sometimes creeps in just a little bit to add to the growth of suspense. So let's kind of start this from the beginning and listen a little bit. Just the basic sounds of the footfalls is great. You hear the dirt and the grass underneath Hitchhiker's feet. Very believable. Great audio design. You can hear like the cicadas early sunset. You can hear the cicadas off in the distance. You can hear the chickens and the leaves and stuff blowing around. This makes me think that you'll hear sounds and stuff that'll kind of make you look in a direction, but then nothing's there. It's just stuff that you hear, but it's like just there to kind of trick you or to make you paranoid. Love it. There's even the subtle sound of like a fence creaking, and you can just those little tiny sounds that you hear in the distance kind of helps you know, the it sounds relaxing, but you know that there's killers around, so it kind of amps up the, the atmosphere, the audio atmosphere of everything. Wes and the developers have been doing interviews talking about the authenticity of everything, visually and auditory. So everything that you're hearing from the crickets, the birds, and all that is authentic to Texas. They actually traveled to Texas on multiple occasions and recorded and you can hear the quality of the audio design is really good. And I like that there's no music that's kind of overwhelming at all. So the silence and sort of calmness of nature is there as a, a foreboding tease to freedom, so to say. When you know that things are about to get hectic at some point or another when you get found. It just makes it all more believable and uncomfortable as you're walking around. It's just kind of incredible to know that when you're playing, you're going to be experiencing the sounds and feelings of what this area could and would feel like if it was actually to exist. Now, here is the part that impresses me the most, and I am really looking forward to this. 
So instead of chase music when the killer starts to get close, they've decided to go with a more ambient tone as the suspense starts to build. As the killer starts getting closer, you feel the uncomfortableness. You know, because if somebody were chasing you in real life, the closer they get, the more closer death is impending, you will get more uncomfortable. The trauma would grow. You know, death is right there next to you. So to kind of convey that growth of suspense and the the heart pounding adrenaline, you, you start to hear this kind of subtle ambient booming the industrial sound that sounds like it starts to grow in danger the closer the killer gets, not to overwhelm you with some crazy chase music, but to add to that sort of feeling of suspense, danger, and desperation, you know? It gives everything a sort of atmosphere. It doesn't throw music in your face. It complements the situation. If you guys want to compare it to kind of something modern if you happen to be watching the Dahmer show they do this a lot during you know the subtle moments when Dahmer is real thinking something or when he's doing stuff in his apartment or when somebody walks into his apartment you hear like the droning sounds the very industrial kind of sounds that just kind of add to the unsettling atmosphere and makes you the viewer uncomfortable as well you sort of feel the feelings that the person that just walked into the apartment feels and it's just adds to the awkwardness the weirdness and just the uncomfortable vibe of everything that's going on and i think that is a very right choice for Texas Chainsaw Massacre and really is going to amp up the experience for everybody. Now, moving on to when Anna steps in the trap, it's very loud, it's very jarring, it's going to give you sort of a jump scare when you step into this thing. Someone help! And then again, you hear the music start to creep up as the cook gets closer and closer and the voice lines though let's go okay so very organic very believable someone help ah! 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 my leg ah! oh my god oh my god help me ah! <laughs> <laughs> she's scared she's desperate she's screaming as the cook gets close to her she's freaking out very believable again the sound and audio complements that desperation the danger and this is very different from what we've heard in like friday the 13th you know let me show some examples help please someone we need you oh my god <laughs> Oh, oh God! <laughs> Is that a, a person? Now, see, these moments are a little bit just funny. They're meme -y. It's kind of just goofy. I'm so glad that they've moved away from all of that stuff. And now they're going for a more authentic sound to the way that the victims are reacting. And, and you sort of are there with them in that desperate experience. Okay, and so now that we've heard this little bit of gameplay audio without anything else over it, imagine what other stuff sounds like. Being in the basement, being inside the house, like hearing the, you know, hearing somebody walk on the second floor, or hearing somebody down on the first floor, or hearing sounds from the basement while you're on the first floor. Like, all of these things, you know, hearing somebody scream from a distance or something like that, all of these things are going to work together to push the player into feeling like they are in their own genuine horror movie experience. They're doing a really good job so far on the sound design, and I love it. So, 
Every day this week, Gun is going to be dropping a victim card to show off their attributes and their special ability. I'll be throwing up another video of that as we start to get all these cards out. And we got a new picture of the gas station. It looks good. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to go through the front of the gas station. I don't know if we can get into the main part of the gas station through the back, but I wonder if we'll get to see the inside of it at all, or if we'll only get to see that little food storage area that she kind of breaks into in the film, and that's it. We'll have to see. Thank you guys again for dropping by to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Game video. The game comes out in 2023. It's made by Sumo Digital Nottingham and Gun Media. Heavily looking forward to it. Again, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button, click subscribe, ring ding the bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Looking forward to play this with you all. Have a good one. Goodbye.